Goldman Sachs is like the Microsoft of the finance world. Goldman Sachs is a multinational investment bank and financial services company that was founded in 1869. So they know what they are doing. It provides a range of services including investment banking, asset management, wealth management and securities trading. Goldman Sachs is one of the largest and most influential investment banks in the world, known for its expertise in mergers and acquisitions, IPOs and debt financing. Goldman Sachs has recently built a powerful toolkit for finance professionals. That toolkit is called as GSCont. With this toolkit, you can build on solutions from over 25 years of global financial expertise. This toolkit accelerates the development of quantitative trading strategies and risk management solutions. This has been created by their own quants for their quants and they use this toolkit daily in their day-to-day -day operations. So that is why it is really good and very, very surprising that a very conservative, very traditional company like Goldman Sachs is working at this bleeding edge and also releasing their toolkit so really hats off to them for releasing it in this video we'll be installing it and then we will also play around with it the sponsor of this video are mass compute if you're looking to rent a gpu then i would highly suggest giving them a look i will drop the link and a discounted coupon code in video's description if you're looking to rent a gpu if you use that coupon code you will be getting 50% discount. Let me show you the VM and GPU card, which they have graciously given. And that is what I'm going to use for this video. So this is my Ubuntu VM, which is running Ubuntu 22.04. And this is my GPU card of 48 GB of VRAM and my GPU is A6000. Let me clear the screen. Also, I would highly suggest that you install anaconda or miniconda which will keep everything nice simple and separate on your local machine and whatever you install won't be interfering with your existing installation okay so i would need to source the conda first i'm just using this conda provided script just press enter and now you should be able to run that conda command there you go so my conda version is 24.1.2 let me clear the screen let's create the conda environment which is called as gs code it is going to create the conda environment in a second just press y here and then you should be able to get your conda environment now let's step into that conda environment by running this activate command and you see that it appears in the parenthesis on the left let's clear the screen and now let's install the gscont installing gscont is as easy as running the pip install command like this pip install gs-cont and you would need python 3.6 or above so the compatibility is huge let's wait for it to finish should it take too long installation is done let me clear the screen let me fire up my python interpreter and then we will play around with this GS code. First up, let me use an example where <clears throat> we will be generating a random time series and we will be computing one month rolling realized volatility. And in financial days, for the working days, there are 22 days. So let's try it out. First, let's import the time series from the GS code, which we have just installed. That is done. Let's also um, import the window. This is a rolling window which we will be using. So let me import that. That's done. Let's generate the random time series with 1000. And these are just a thousand observation and random ones. Let's compute the realized volatility, volatility using window of 22 and a ramp up value of a zero. That is done. And now let's just check out few of the last <coughs> um, values. There you go. So you see, 
we have just checked a few of the last tail ones you can also increase the tail so this is how easy it is to check out um, this time series volatility on any data and this all data is from um, goldman sachs and these are random values of course you can set them out now let me show you a few more examples before that let me clear the screen so i'm just using this simple lambda function let's press enter here okay let's try out another example now let's check out an example of a pressing context pressing date is used to compute the expiration date and the discounting uh, rules for a derivative instrument for example the expiration date of a, a one month forward will be one month from current pricing date and pricing date is primarily different from the market data as of which is the date for the sourcing market data and then defaulted to one business day before pricing date so let me show you a very small quick example so we are importing the pricing context and examining the current pricing date it is defaulted to today's when pricing as an instrument so there you go and <clears throat> similarly if you want to change the behavior you can simply import uh, the uh, some of the libraries and change the defaulting context like this from gs mod and you can change the context like this so how this is how easy it is to check out all of these uh, pressing context and date one thing <clears throat> i want to mention here is that uh, you would definitely need some of the client secret and client id from the goldman sachs for some of the operations for example <clears throat> i don't have it but i can uh, definitely maybe show you quickly uh, but i mean for example if i if you want to look at um, some of the observation around weather which would need an api call so you would have to import this let's say we just want to check the number of observations over a given window for the weather pattern so let's get the data set for the weather like this and and then get get the data frame with the help of this city boston there you go so you will get this error because it is going to say that a gs session is not uh, authenticated so that is where you would need to um, get this gs session so gs session manages authentication for the gs developer api and this allows you to hold on to authentication context and you would need proper um, developer uh, sorry id and client secret from goldman sachs and you would need to log in there with your user id password and you would have to apply for it i don't have it unfortunately otherwise i would have shown you but that's it guys this was <clears throat> just um, a quick overview of this goldman sachs one and this is the one which i was talking about goldman sachs id you would need so i hope that you enjoyed it I would really wish that where Goldman Sachs has done this awesome job of uh, letting us use some of the features of this GS Quant, they would also just make it all open source, all public, so that anyone would be able to use it. Maybe just offer some free credits to the people so that they could use this GS API. Or if there is any other way existing and I am not aware of it, please let them let me know in the comments. I will drop the link to it in video's description. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.